Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement because I've been I've been building one of the projects that I didn't complete last time you saw it I've been messing around with the dehumidifier here and I have a, I'm just about to put it back together so I thought I will share what I've done um, I ordered a DC to DC power converter for it so that I could step down the 12 volt I've actually made like a cable for it so that it can go into a cigarette lighter before it was using this uh, 9 volt adapter the issue with this one is that it uses 9 volts and I needed to, to use 12 volt because my power station uses 12 volt so I made a 12 volt uh, power adapter for it so the 12 volt goes in here um, it goes over here and here is a humidity sensor uh, that turns on and off the device uh, depending on the humidity and that's the, the black and yellow wire and they go back over here becomes the wire and then they power the the DC to DC uh, converter down here and I didn't get the one that I've ordered but I thought I, I have to do this now because it's getting really humid in the bunker so I took two of the small ones and I combined them and it's uh, perfectly able to supply the 9 volts 3 amps ish that this uses so um, it can supply like 9 volts 4 amps almost but 9 volts 3 amps is good to go so um, yeah I'm putting it back together as we speak or as we record used a lot of hot glue there so yeah um i think this is gonna look very decent so in my last video i i found out how to short circuit the circuit board in here so that uh, this uh, dehumidifier would turn on and off as soon as it was connected to power um before that you had to press the button you had to connect it to power and then press the button and there was no great way to do that and i got a lot of shot people that had noticed that there is actually a sensor to um, to stop it when the, the canister here is full of water and uh, yeah to, to make that work so that it would come on and off by itself I uh, I bypassed that sensor as well so right now it's not gonna be able to turn on and off if um, if the canister is full or if the if the tank is full here but yeah can't win them all i'd rather have it run and then i'll just empty the canister there was a lot of misconceptions of how much water uh, would actually come out of the bunker the bunker is like 2500 uh, liters of air and there is really a limit to how much water that air can consist so this tank is perfectly able to dehumidify the whole bunker no issues whatsoever and yeah so it should be good for probably a month or something like that we are kind of ready to test it out so i have my power supply here so we're gonna connect that to my plug yeah, 12. actually i'm testing with uh, 14.3 volts coming in uh, it's using a lot of power up of the power supply. It says that it's using 40 watts and it was only using like 22, 24 watts in the bunker. So I don't know, maybe if I turn the watches down a little. Hmm. Okay. But it works, so I should really go and test it out in the bunker, shouldn't I? So now we are in the bunker and this is why I couldn't wait anymore. It keeps getting moldy down here, uh, even though there is no water on the floor. My socks are there, but yeah, and also over here is getting a bit moldy. Uh, this end of the bunker is the worst one. Uh, and I do have some cleaning stuff sitting there, so I'm going to clean it again. But I'm going to turn on the dehumidifier. 
we need to see if we have any power down here. We do. We are getting 8 watts in. I've already gotten a fly down here, so yeah, we're gonna try and connect our dehumidifier and get some dehumidifying going down here. Okay, that is running and it's pulling uh, 30 watts. So it's actually pulling more than it was on. Uh, yeah, probably I shouldn't have cranked the power up to nine and a half volts. So that's probably why it's using more power than before. But now it should turn on and off by itself, so it's not going to use the power all the time, which is though a um, a big plus. Okay. I made a little platform for it over here, standing on top of this Lenovo CD-ROM drive. Perfect. Um, humidity keeps going up down here because I have just been cleaning, getting some of the mold off. And naturally, when I'm putting water over all the surfaces, well, the humidity goes up. A uh, funny thing, uh, I turned on the DC, now I turned it off. But the car outlet, like the 10 amps for your freezer box or something, that is still supplying power even though the DC is off. I did not know that, so yeah, get smarter every day. Um, yeah, you can see the humidity keeps going up. Okay, I think we have a robot in distress. In distress. <laughs> that looks stupid. Hmm. complaining about the battery so it's gonna go and recharge okay that wasn't what we were gonna be talking about I was gonna tell you that it has been a, been about an hour since I uh, I was in the bunker so I'm curious to see what the humidity is down there so I hope that we can stick the camera down there and see without having to climb down there uh, can I zoom in on that? I think I can. Uh, zoom in. Oh, so that hasn't gone down yet. But it hasn't gone much up either. It was about 77 when I was down there an hour ago. And the power... Oh, I would need to go and press that. Okay. Okay, we'll give it some more time. Okay, it's uh, several hours later. It's uh, even getting dark here. You can see the lights is on and my little ferry. Is that ferry light? I don't know. But I purchased some in China and they came in. Well, they were really cheap. But never mind. I'm gonna check if I've gotten the humidity down down here. Let's see if we can see anything. It's still running. I can hear it. Okay, it's very dark down there. I think we can zoom in on this. Yeah, humidity is down, 64.5. Awesome. So it might even have been shut off and come on again. Cool, we'll check it out tomorrow. It's a new day. It actually looks like it could be a nice day. It's, uh, it's almost blue sky all the way around. Well except the moon is in the way up there and some fluffy clouds but I am very curious now um, let's see we checked this at about 10 o'clock last night and now it's about 9 I can't I can't hear it I can hear something else Relay is clicking in that. But this one says, Oh, something is off. Hmm. Dang it. 74.6. Huh. Guess we have to go down there. So, what is going on here? 
said it. I think our thinky has messed up. It's not optimal. Would like to see something more coming out of this. Like the display coming on. Okay, I'm up here again. Uh, my best estimate is that the power station has gotten out of balance and uh, has shut off and it needs more power to come back on. That's that's my thought. So, I have a solar panel laying up here. <laughs> there it is. It's supposed to charge the power station when it's sitting in there. And the solar panel that is powering is right where that bird is. It's, uh, it's maintaining the, the solar panel up there. Come on, you're not doing a very good job. The power station is in need of power. Do better. So, yeah, we need to go and ask the bird to do a better job. I'm thinking about just uh, the solar panel up there is a Dutchy 100 watt solar panel. So, and the one that is up here, you can just see it. It's on. Well, you can probably not see it, but that's a 200 watt panel. So, this is the 200 watt SF200 from All Power. This is a Dutchy 100 watts. Okay, we're back in the bunker. Let's get some lights here. Um, this is still not showing anything. When I unplug power coming into it, and plug it back in, It, uh, well, it definitely realizes that there is something out there, but it doesn't come on. So, I am hoping it will revive itself at some point. Uh, funny thing is that this thing, uh, when you plug it in here, does actually... Oh, <laughs> clumsy! Uh, does actually come on. there so there is power coming out that way so my thought is that I did show that this plug is never turned off by the unit so I think this plug might have drained it beyond what it can handle and yeah that's naturally not very good and this DC thing can't turn that on or off um, I don't know if this does anything. Apparently not. So I'm gonna just leave it on for a few hours and see if it if it behaves. Ah, this was not what I was supposed to be doing in this video. Okay, it's a few hours later. Uh, we are still not getting anything meaningful out of this. And again, if we unplug it and plug it back in. It will run the fan for a little bit, but it doesn't do anything more than that. Just... Eh. I think I need to take the power station out of here. I've already been planning it. Really annoying. I just got the bloody dehumidifier working, and then the power station drops out. <sighs> okay, I have the large solar panels, 600 watts out to play with and underneath here I have the S2000 but it's still pretty dead so yeah nothing's coming on 
I thought that maybe just a bit more power, but it kind of does sounds like it's supposed to sound, but it just doesn't do anything. Oh, that's a drag. So on this terrible note, I think we're gonna end the video here. I have ruined quite enough already. I managed to get the dehumidifier up and running as I wanted it. And in the same process, I broke the S200. Oh, sorry, the S2000. That's a really bad trait. That dehumidifier with all the crap that I put on it is like less than 10% of what the cost of an S2000 is. So that is kind of a, yeah, as I said, a bad trait. So yeah, irritating. I really do hope there's a fix for it. I'm gonna try. So um, on that disappointing note, I'm gonna end it and say thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.